Tables are a great way to summarize information and make it stand out from other text on the page, whether I'm working in Word, PowerPoint, or Outlook. I can create tables in Excel, too, but they are a bit different. See the link in the article associated with this demo for more information about Excel tables. Let me show you how to insert a table in Word. Let's say I want to add a table before my insertion point in this Word document. If I click the Insert tab and in the Tables group click Table, I can see several options for creating a table. I can choose a pre-designed style from the Quick Tables gallery, which is new to Word 2007. To do this, I click Quick Tables and choose the table style I want. If a table style includes placeholder data, I can replace it with my own. But in this document, I'm going to insert a table by simply dragging across the cells in the grid to indicate the number of rows and columns I want in my table. Notice that the proposed table appears in the document as I drag. I click when I see the layout I want, and there's the new table in my document. Notice that a Table Tools tab has appeared in the ribbon, with a Design tab and a Layout tab that includes all of the tools I need to modify my table. Here's my table with some text in it. I can change the look of my whole table at once by clicking the Design tab and selecting a style from the Table Styles group. As I point to each style, I see a preview of how my table looks formatted in that style. When I see the one I want, I click it and instantly my humdrum table becomes a thing of beauty. If I click the More arrow, I can see all of the styles that are available. On the Design tab, I see lots of ways to easily change the look of my table. For example, I can select the table by clicking the Table Move handle and choose which borders should be displayed in the table by clicking Borders in the Table Styles group. Clicking All Borders places borders around each cell. In the Table Style Options group, I can select or clear checkboxes to apply or remove styles from different table elements. I don't have to select an element before applying a style. I might want to make some more modifications to my table to suit the content. For example, I can change the column widths just by dragging the borders. I can format the text in a table just as I format text in the body of a document. If I want to insert a row at the top of the table, I click to place my insertion point in the current first row. Then I click the Layout tab and in the Rows and Columns group, I click Insert Above and enter some text in the first cell. When I'm on the Layout tab, I might also want to experiment with text alignment. I can align text in the entire table or in a column or row. I can center or left align the text in the first column. If I want my new heading to span all of the columns, I select the entire row. In the Merge group, I click Merge Cells. And finally, after I've created a table I like, I can copy it and then paste it into one of the other Office programs, such as PowerPoint or Outlook, where I can use the familiar Office tools. That way, I can make the most of my efforts and of the integrated features of the Microsoft Office programs.